What's going on everybody out there? Welcome back to the channel. As always, if you're a real one, drop a like on the video, subscribe, and turn your channel notifications on. Today, I'm gonna bring you guys a full walkthrough of exactly how to get max XP in no time. Now, keep in consideration, the servers have to be live in order for this to work. So, the best time to do this is after the maintenance period. So, 10 a.m. between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. is the best time to try to grind. And then 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. is the best time to grind. And this is Eastern time. I don't know what it would be in Central and Pacific. We are on this screen right here. You don't want to be into none of these. You just want to push down and go to Exhibition. You want to have two controllers. Now, it says player one and player two. Player one, you want to move to the left. Player two, you want to move to the right. And that's going to be the controller that you are pitching with. I have my second controller wired so it don't go offline. Some of y'all, if the controller is not active, it will not register some of your XP. So I have it hardwired so it stays lit the whole time. And every 50 to 100 runs, I will reach over and push a button A, X, B, Y, just to let the controller know that it's still in use. So if you have two wireless controllers, you have to keep it next to you and either set it so it stays on for two, two and a half hours or don't go off if it's not in use, or you have to reach over every 50 to 100 runs and just push up, down, one of the buttons, anything, to make sure that the controller is in use and active. Now, from this screen, it don't matter about the uniforms, you're just gonna enter, don't matter about the stadium. Right here, you want fast play on, and then you want quick counts on. You wanna start in one in one situations, three in one situations, that's gonna help speed up the process. If you do it, 225 to 250 runs, you will get 17,000 XP to 23,000 XP. If it's the first time you ever did it, they might give you a little bump, 25, 26, 27, thousand XP but that's not something to expect every single time between 17 and 22 thousand is what you should expect every single time and that's 21 to 24 minutes depending what are you watching if you holding the left button or L1 down so you can intentionally walk faster so once you go up into that you're just gonna pick a picture it don't matter what picture you're gonna set the lineup push start push start go into the game and now we're gonna roll the video footage to show you exactly what I do and when I clear the bases and then strike the other side out and then get back up, load the bases up again and then repeat. Drop a like on the video. Yesterday's video went bonkers. Over 1100 views in the first 24 hours, but we only had 30 some likes. So drop a like on the video if you're a real one. If you're not a real one, thanks for watching. But if you're a real one, drop a like on the video. Let's get these videos to 65 and 70 likes, man. And I keep bringing y'all the best tips in MLB The Show 21. So what you wanna do from this point forward after you have already dropped the like on the video is just push the L1 or left bumper and O or B, intentionally walk. And then it's gonna ask you yes or no, you're gonna push yes. You're gonna do this over and over and over. You can see I'm at 228 runs. I'm gonna intentionally walk, and for this video purpose, I'm gonna get a little more runs, a little over 230, bases are loaded and then i'm gonna hit my runners around sometimes when you hit it because i got it on auto fielding they're gonna catch the ball you're gonna have to tag up and send one person but you want to hit the ball not push anything on the defense and advance all your runners home so you're gonna have the second controller next to you which is your first controller you're gonna pitch the ball and then you're gonna swing now you can see the ball falls down then you want to grab your player one controller and you want to advance all the runners i didn't have the controller close to me so i got caught up and didn't do it fast enough but right there 
is the hit that we want and now I'm gonna grab the other controller and just advance every single runner around the bases I'm gonna sit there hold the ball every once in a while I'm gonna throw the ball make it look like I'm trying to get them out throw at the second base throw at the first base throw it home after the runner is already there etc do it any way that you want to and then after I cleared the whole bases now with the quick counts on you can see it's a one in one count pitch strikes down the middle get everybody out make it very simple and then we're gonna get up with the other team and I'm gonna grab the other controller I'm gonna get that whole side out throwing nothing but strikes it's gonna start off with one and one it's gonna start off with three and one it's gonna start off with two and two counts that's what quick counts is for and then once I get back up I'm gonna intentionally walk the entire side again get bases loaded then I'm gonna pitch the ball I'm gonna swing I'm gonna hit it I'm gonna send everybody home as long as it's over 230 runs and then I'm gonna exit out the game now you can restart the game if you know for sure that the servers are up and running but I like to exit out the game close the app down then you want to wait two to five minutes load the game back up and then your XP with the online servers once the daily double stuff pop up on the screen it will reactivate and then keep track of your XP what you started with before you did the method and then what you ended with and you should see between the 18 to 24 thousand gap now if you were smart you would do it three to four times in a period so then the servers don't have a chance to go down sometimes they only go down for five to ten minutes so you want to make sure in that 22 minutes that you are doing it at a good server time drop a like on the video I know we have 55 60 likes by now I just gave y'all the full breakthrough everything that you need to know make sure the controller is hardwired or you reach over every 50 to 100 runs and that's all you need to know and if y'all rocking with me then I got y'all let's go